Now, last night we brought you our exclusive report on a group of teenagers terrorising their community and filming themselves as they did. The story caused outrage around the country today, but what you didn't see was the shameful way in which they assaulted a teenage girl. Well, now her father has given us permission to show you some of that vision in the hope that the youths will be identified and justice will be done. And Ron Wen has a story. The victim. This is the DVD that has shocked the nation. Vision of the sickening mistreatment of a young girl filmed by the very boys involved. She's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Last night we brought you the story of this DVD which is currently being sold in schools around Melbourne. The vision which is being sold for five dollars shows the group of boys attacking a taxi, bullying drunks, making and exploding bombs and dropping flares on a sleeping homeless person. But by far the most disturbing vision shows a shocking sequence involving a young girl, referred to by the male youths as simply the victim. <laughs> the young girl is developmentally delayed. Her family asked us not to run the vision last night, but today agreed for us to show segments so the youths involved could be identified. The young girl had met two of the boys from the group online using a popular chat room. She agreed to meet one of the boys at the Werribee station, but says she was quickly surrounded and led to this area near the Werribee River. Everyone's scared to go first, they don't want any diseases. There, she says, she was coerced into performing a sex act as the sick youths cheered and jeered. Her top was then thrown into a tree, while two other boys threw her jacket in the river. <laughs> then one of the youths set fire to her hair three times, the last time using an aerosol can to achieve a larger flame. Finally, a cup of urine was thrown on her and she was urinated on from behind as she sat with her face in her hands. Before the sequence appears on the DVD, there's a graphic claiming the girl was a willing participant. But today her father said that just wasn't true. I don't understand it. I mean, I, I don't understand it at all and I'm, I feel very hu hu humiliated as a father. I, my, I know my daughter feels humiliated. One student involved in the distribution of the DVD at Werribee Secondary College has left the school since the vision came to light. It's understood the DVD has also been available at Cadinia International College and Mary MacKillop College. Today Tonight has also provided a copy of the DVD to the police who are investigating at least three incidents. At this stage, no charges have been laid. Meantime, the young girl's father is calling on all parents to exercise responsibility. I'm asking parents if they know of their child or anybody else who has a copy to please destroy it. And he says his family will do whatever they have to to see these youths are punished for what they've done. Every effort by our family will be made to bring these boys to justice. We will not rest until every one of these boys is prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Rowan, when with that report and the girl's father has asked anyone who can identify the youths to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000.